It's another Target haul. I know you're excited. Today I had to run to Target. I need, need stuff for our vacation. We're going to Disney for a week. Holy cow, I'm so excited. More excited than my kids, I feel like. So there were things that I needed. Can I tell you, one of my biggest pet peeves, bags. So many, I have reusable bags and I usually bring them, but like, oh. I did not even buy this much stuff. She just like filled the bags halfway. There's two, there's two bags in here. Guys, while she was bagging, I wanted to just say, put more stuff in the bag. It happens like every time I go to Target, they put like three items in each bag. Is that what they tell the team members to do? I don't like it. Anyway, that is my pet peeve rant, sorry. <laughs> it just always bothers me that I have all these bags. I do reuse them as like garbage bags and stuff. Okay, so how do we wanna go about this haul? Do you want the most exciting things first? Or not so much, just the random stuff. Oh, you know what? I went, oh, can I tell you two things? I went in with a list. <gasps> Did I get everything on my list? Let's see. Uh, stick sunscreen deodorant, four by six photo book, girls toothpaste, diaper and wipes, ponchos, four by six index cards, sandals, and cooling towels. Did I get everything on the list? Spoiler alert, I don't, I actually don't know. I don't know, I don't think so. <laughs> but I did look for everything on the list. Um, oh, and second thing I wanted to tell you, has this ever happened to you where you come out of the target haze when you're walking out of the store? First of all, the sun's blazing in your eyes and you're blinded, and I couldn't find my car. I, could, I legit, it's the first time it's ever happened to me, could not find my car in the parking lot. I was just one of those like women lost in the parking lot, pushing my cart full of Target goodies. And I mean, I eventually found it, but I was like, where did I park? I've never forgotten where I parked before. Anyway, onto the haul, the good stuff. It's what you came for. So let me start with diapers. I've never bought diapers before. Well, okay, that's a lie. Whenever I go on vacation, I buy diapers. We cloth diaper. So I was in the diaper aisle, lost. I was like, what? There are so many options. And I wanted honest diapers, but they didn't have my son's size, which I had to like figure out his size. It goes by weight. And then, oh, they did have his size and honest, but they were girl prints. So then I had to weigh the options and they only had like the massive amounts. There was like a 600 in there. So I went with Target brand. Good old Target. Can't go wrong with that, right? I don't know. He, um, how many are in here? 28 diapers. Will that last the week? Probably not. Maybe I should have got two of these. It's a bad choice. I can always get more while I'm up there. And then I'm gonna bring cloth as well just to supplement. But anyway, um, I got some. Something else, index cards, super fun. Uh, these I shared in my uh, Disney tips video, like top 10 weird things to bring to Disney. Um, index cards for autographing, I put them in a four by six photo book and I'm looking for another one which I couldn't find at Target. I don't think they sell them anymore. I'm gonna have to try it at Walgreens or something and on Amazon they're like 15 bucks. No thank you. Um, so what I do is have the characters autograph these and then put them in the photo books. Anyway, did I already say that? Moving on, I got a couple cooling towels. I almost bought these off Amazon and then time escaped me and then three weeks went by and I didn't buy them and I was like, I need them real soon. These are two different brands. Are they? It's not, but they're two different, are they different towels? I'm so confused right now, guys. They were uh, on the same spot in Target they're both blue, <laughs> they're both Mission Ultra and in Cool, Instant, okay, here's the difference. Instant cooling towel, cools instantly when wet, and then this is a Endura Cool cooling towel. Microfiber, cools instantly when wet. My mind is blown, I have no idea. They're both cooling towels. They're great for when you go to Disney, you plop them around your neck, and they help you stay cool in the Florida hot, hot sun. Moving on, I got some Yum Spa. It's Detangle, Detangle Spray? Yeah, Detangler Spray. It's for my kids, and it, I just thought this one smelled good. I don't know, it actually doesn't really smell it. I mean, it smells good for what it is. Um, and then I got some toothpaste for them. I even called when I was at Target, and I asked, my husband to ask my kids. I was like, what kind do they like? Um, I, this is what I normally buy them. And then I bought this for them before and I think they told me they didn't like it. And this is ultimately, I think what they wanted. So I just bought all three for 
assurance purposes and Wentworth uses this one. Uh, moving on, I got some uh, deodorant. So this was on clearance, it's Secret Active Sport. I got it really for Alex because um, I don't think he's going to use these. These are like natural deodorants, they're by Schmitz. And this one is charcoal and magnesium. I got this one for Alex. Um, I just think he's gonna like it. I don't know, It to me it's more of a manly flavor. Flavor. And really it's not, it's not at all. I, I would wear this. If he doesn't wear this, I would wear this. I like the scent. And then this one, <laughs> my favorites, bergamot and lime. It smells much more like lime than bergamot, but these are my two like favorite essential oils. Mm. I don't have them though. I don't. But so I need to buy them from like, I buy my essential oils from Eden's Garden. I feel like the quality is pretty good and the press is amazing. They're like $5 compared to like doTERRA is like $500. Okay, I got some nail filers, just because I needed them. A uh, goal of mine is to like start doing my nails. It probably won't happen. Um, and then I got like a little travel size of these uh, cotton rounds so I can clean my face while we're at the uh, hotel. And I don't have to pack, uh, you know, the big thing that I have. I also got some kid sunscreen sticks. I have a ton of sunscreen I've been hoarding it, I've been storing it whenever I've been seeing it on clearance like throughout the past six months and no, it's not expired until like 2019, all of them or beyond. And, um, but what I don't have, we went to the beach the other day and the kids don't like when I spray it and then spray it on my hands and then put it on their face. They would rather have a stick and we have since lost our stick and really I think Wentworth ate it. I don't know where it is. The, either the cap fell off and the kids thought it was, um, like a glue stick, it's happened before, or Wentworth ate it, because he eats my chapstick all the time. Other one, yeah, I'm not sure what happened to it is what I'm trying to say, so I bought two more for us. Okay, I found this stuff in the dollar spot. Oh my gosh, my mind. I'm so hungry, all I can think of is what am I gonna be eating next? I'm like, what am I even holding? Okay, I'm sharing my Target finds with you. These, okay, Michael's, you're getting on my naughty list. I ordered these books. These are blank books. What are they, Kim? They're blank books. Um, how many, I don't, I'm not sure how many pages are in each one. Okay, eight 16 page project books. And they are, the size is 6.25 by 8.37 inches. And um, I bought a bunch of these from Michaels. And I bought them like three weeks ago and they said they would email me when my order came in. It hasn't come in yet, and I've even called a couple times, I'm like, hey, is my order in? I've gone up there because I needed to go up there. Anyway, my order has not been in. So, I found them at the dollar spot for $3 each, which was around the same price as they sell them at Michael's. At Michael's, the books are eight by eight, so they're a little bigger, but um, I thought, you know what? I see them, I'm gonna buy them. I bought four of them, so how many do I have? Eight, 16, 24, 30? Two? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, $3 each, you can't go wrong with these. And my daughter loves to make books. She loves to create and draw, and this is just great for kids. They can make all kinds of stories. And then, is it that time, guys? I feel like after 4th of July, they're just gonna shove school supplies in our face. And I personally can't wait for it. And this is my first school supply item I bought. The alphabet practice cards, I feel like Eleanor will um, can use these. They just have the, uh, the letters of the alphabet and then she can practice her writing with them. And then school supplies really are. They had like the tiniest little end cap at, uh, at the dollar spot and I was getting pumped. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't do a Target shop with me for 4th of July stuff, but I will definitely do it for back to school stuff. It just gets me giddy, even though I don't even buy back to school items because, okay, moving on, who cares? Um, I got this. I actually got one the other day because I had to go to Target for something and I picked up one of these. I didn't buy a lot of stuff, just a couple things. And I spent more than this. This was $3.88, it was on clearance, super clearance. And I think the other day I spent like six something, but I thought even $6 was a good deal because they're normally $12.99. Um, it's just, it's a one of these like tin can kind. I'm not even sure what they're called. Yeah, it's like an insulated cup, water. It's a little bigger. How many ounces is in here? 12 ounces. It's bigger than their normal one, which I think is eight ounces, but they can bring these to school. They can bring them anywhere, keep their water cold, or if you drink coffee hot. Okay, <gasps> Garnier Fruit Teas. <laughs> I don't buy a lot of hair care stuff. You guys know I'm not a hair girl. Look at this. But 
Um, Garnier Fructis had a new display, well, I don't know if it's new, new to me, but they had hair masks. Um, this is a damage repairing treat, one minute hair mask, one minute. That's all you need in your life. Weren't they like three minutes before? But this, the smell of this mask was my favorite. They also had like a, is this papaya? Papaya extract. They also had like a banana something and an avocado something and... Uh, something else. They had three other ones. Yeah, they had three other ones. They had three other ones, and this is the fourth. And I just like the smell of this the best. They had a couple of the large size ones, but the only one they had in this scent was the smaller. So I went with this one. I don't know. I really just, if they had a candle of this, I would buy it. Oh, and you know what I was trying to look for, which I kind of found, but then didn't really like, um, was lotion. And I think the brand was like a Curie or something and uh, it was like essential like a natural lotion with essential oils and it was orange I douse myself with orange essential oils every morning and I just love the smell of them I also maybe shouldn't do that because it like boosts your energy level and do I need that not really But when I'm working out at the gym or like doing yoga or something I'm like yes orange essential oils just pour it all over anyway, I found some lotion with orange essential oils and then I tried it out in the store like a, I snuck a little bit on my hand right here it's not there anymore but um, I thought I don't really like it I don't know and that's the end of that story okay moving on I got a couple more things water wipes you guys know I'm obsessed with these um, it's 99.9% .9 water and then a drop of grapefruit extract I think it's grapefruit anyway, it doesn't say on this bag, but I got four uh, bag, four like pouches of wipes in here. I normally get the big honkin' one, uh, but they didn't have one in the store, so I just got this. Um, when we're at home, I use reusable wipes. I do cloth diapers, so I do reusable wipes too. And then um, when we're out, or if it's like a stinky diaper, I use the, the throwaway ones. Okay, moving on. Oh my gosh, guys. My last Target haul I showed you and I went on an ultra rant about bathing suits. I had to buy another one. Hey! Um, I, it's the same one. Okay, so short story long, here we go. It's the same bathing suit. This little part where the strap goes around you, the part where the strap connects to the bathing, it broke. Ugh, it left me, mm, you know what I mean? Exposed? Uh, well, not really, I mean, I wasn't exposed, but it left me a little mm, shy and I was thinking, oh man, because I got it on clearance. I was thinking, I'm not gonna be able to find it, but I returned the bathing suit. It's one of the only things that I've returned because I was like, I didn't even wear this a full day and it broke, I'm returning it. And I know it was on clearance, but like it was brand new. It still had the tags on, it still had a new little thing like this. So um, I returned it. I put my brave face on, my big girl panties, and I returned it. Alex is proud of me, um, and I thought, I'm not gonna be able to find it. It was a bathing suit on clearance, they're phasing out that style, and I liked it, but I'm probably not gonna find it. I found another one, clearly, ah, in my size. I was pumped. Not only is that awesome, but it's on clearance, and it's on more clearance. So last time I spent $17, this time I spent $10.48, hallelujah. So my bathing suit broke, but um, it saved me seven dollars. Is all I'm saying. Okay, almost done. <laughs> oh, two more things. One thing is an item that is putting me into debt. Okay, I got one of these uh, spray bottles. This was ten dollars. Keeping it cool, mastering fan. The, I found this randomly around the store. I don't know where they carry these. Um, we bought some off Amazon, but they're not in yet. And just for assurance purposes, assurance, insurance for just in case, I bought one just in case they don't come in from Amazon. And um, this is just for at Disney. You put cold water in here, you spritz yourself, and the fan goes and keeps you semi-cool. I'll, I'll link all that stuff that I found, and that's also something that I mentioned in my Disney video, like things you need at Disney. How long is this video? Holy crap, I feel like I've been talking for like 20 minutes. Either that or I'm really hungry slash really thirsty. Okay, last item is a Nikon. Um, we bought a Nikon. Uh, less than a year ago, or has it been two years? No, yeah, Wentworth was a baby. Less than a year ago, sad to s report that we left it on a tripod and Wentworth, when he was a baby, he knocked it over and it broke our Nikon. So uh, we've had it just in a bag 
and we've been thinking we need to bring it to get it repaired but we know it's gonna cost hundreds of dollars to get it repaired so we bought another one they're on sale at Target right now a hundred dollars off so it's four hundred dollars and then this time we bought the protection plan we have learned from our mistakes forever and ever forever and ever always wait what's that song that old country song oh forever and ever amen <laughs> do you remember that song anyway uh, we've learned from our mistakes and we always buy the protection plan now. It's totally worth it, especially when you have kids. You never know what's gonna happen. And uh, love this camera is what I'm trying to get at. It's the Nikon 3400D, D3400. And um, it's an amazing camera for pictures. It's not that, I mean, it's, it takes good, I think it does do video, yeah? Um, it takes really good video. It doesn't autofocus, but um, like if you press the button, you know what I mean, it will focus so you have to like constantly be aware of what you're filming um but for pictures it's one of the best cameras that i've ever used i've always been a canon girl but um i've i've heard that nikon is like amazing especially for pictures okay is that everything oh wait i feel something else in here i am not even oh my gosh there was one more item <laughs> i fooled myself band-aids guys um, this band-aids, hopefully, if I play my cards right, they will last me the rest of my life. 120 band-aids in here. Uh, there's even Mickey band-aids. I think that's what sold me. This was like 10 bucks. But what got me is they have like the flexible band-aids. So there's 30 flexible fabric, 10 flexible fabric, large, extra large, um, 30 water block clear band-aids, 30 variety size, and then 20, uh, Mickey Mouse band-aids. Amazing, right? So there it is. <laughs> okay, that's everything. False alarm. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Holy fajoli. Have I been that white this whole time? Sorry, I should have turned the lighting down. Is this better now for the last five seconds of the video? Thank you again for hanging out, and I'll see you next time. Bye. You know what? For fun, I figured let me put everything that I bought in a bag or, you know, back in bags, and let me see how many bags it takes me to bag all this crap up. Okay, let's see. Here it is, guys. Two bags. Boom. Boom. Two bags. How many bags did I save the planet? One, two, three, four, five bags. Five bags. Extra. Oh, all this plastic. Target needs to teach their employees how to properly pack bags. Okay? All right, I'm out now. Bye. <laughs>